Oh, the things you see in Gardena, huh? <laughs> okay, fine, we'll do it for real. In three, two, give me your heads up thing. What's going on everybody? Happy Wednesday and thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today Octavio and myself are shooting a bit of a raw video. We were walking outside in the parking lot and we saw this Nissan Altima and we talked to the owner and they were saying that they park it underneath a tree and this gave us a great idea for a video because a lot of you guys deal with the same problem where the tree sap sits on your car, it gets hot and it starts to run and then it cools off and then it dries. So we're going to show you a quick way to remove it safely and also add some protection. Now to begin, we're going to clean it using some Swift Wipe, which is a waterless wash and wax. Normally we would want to wash this car, but we thought maybe if you're living in an apartment where you don't have access to a hose or a bucket or anything like that, you're probably in a waterless wash situation, so we're going to do it that way too. <laughs> nice, Nick. <laughs> hey man, I'm human most of the time. So we'll start by spraying down the surface. And since there's a light amount of dust that are accumulating on the paint here. We're going to give it a second to saturate and the Swift Wipe is going to encapsulate it. Boy, somebody needs a fan belt. And now we're taking a clean microfiber towel and we're going to wipe it away. Brings up a good point. We're outside of the detail garage, so bear with any kind of noise. We see that even by wiping it, it takes off a little bit, but that's just usually the dirt that's accumulated in the tree sap or any kind of staining. The other day I was talking to a customer and they were saying that they call tree sap honeydew. I don't know if a lot of you guys call it that. You can drop your comments down below. We see here the stain's still on there and there's a lot of run here. So what we're going to do is what I always recommend people doing is if it's fresh, get yourself a bottle of butter wet wax, which has natural cleaning oils that help to lift off any of the stubborn residue. And it also leaves behind a great shine, but also a durable layer of protection. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Start by shaking up the bottle. And we all know that butter wet wax has a lot of uh, versatility. You can use it for removing any kind of water spots, tree sap. You can also use it for removing kind of overspray from spray paint or road paint. And it leaves behind a fine layer of carnauba, which makes it difficult for future contamination to stick to the surface. It also helps to give you some kind of water beating action. We'll start by just blotching it out, giving the oils a moment to help break down whatever we're working on before we go into scrubbing it, but also this is going to lubricate the pad that you're using or the towel that you're using so you're not grinding it into the surface causing any kind of scratches or swirls. We'll add a little bit more because again it has these oils that help to lift off the contamination that's on the surface. This way we're not grinding it or scratching. Now we're just going to work back and forth. We'll start here on the little things. This is going to be the easiest ones. Gently back and forth. Almost immediately there's nothing left behind. Back and buff away in the excess. Nice and slick. Now for people who have road paint, I always recommend that they come back with a clay bar or some type of clay equivalent. This way you're not leaving anything that's embedded in the surface because paint, it starts to attract itself or it starts to cling very quickly. So having a clay bar is going to help remove any kind of contamination. It also helps remove anything that was on the surface already. Ugh, look at all that and uh, it's going to make the surface nice and clean and then you can apply your favorite waxes, sealants on top of that to prevent any kind of future damage. But you see here, nice and easy, very simple to do, very quick. It doesn't harm the paint in any way. You're actually adding shine and protection, which is exactly what detailing is all about, enhancing the look of your vehicle, giving it protection so they can last as long as possible. Very easy to do. You can even use it on your clear optical plastics, not your textured plastics or your painted or kind of any exterior trim, but on your taillights or headlights where you get the same problem. We're going to just blotch it out. Gently go back and forth. Very easy to do. Very simple. And now you don't have to worry about polishing as long as you catch it soon enough because if you leave it on there for long enough it's actually going to start eating away at your clear coat and this can result in polishing or having to repaint the area because it'll stain it and that becomes permanent so it's always a great idea to get these off as soon as possible and there you have it nice and easy simple to do and again it was just with basically two products you clean it first and then use butter wet wax to remove the residue and anything else that was stuck on the surface and that leaves behind a brilliant shine and it's going to be protected for next time. 
So if you guys want to learn more about these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop your comments down below for future videos. And we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage. Get away.